Hello everyone, welcome to this video and in this video I'm going to show you how you can add a Google Maps shortcut to your iPhone home screen. So basically if you want to have a shortcut where it automatically opens a certain route when you click on the uh, shortcut basically then in this video I'm going to show you how you can do this. So that shortcut will most likely look a little bit like this. When you click on that shortcut it will bring you right here and all you need to do is click on app open. Once you've done that it will automatically calculate everything and it will immediately start the route as you guys are going to see in just a second. And this basically means that it will, that you don't have to type in anything and it will just automatically start it just like this. Now for me it will not automatically start because I actually don't live in Paris so it can't really start. I can only preview it. However, that's then basically how it will actually work. So in order to do that, what you need to do is first of all delete Google Maps. It might sound a bit weird but just delete Google Maps. And I'm also going to remove this shortcut right here. The first thing what we're going to do is head over into Safari. And once we've done that, what we are going to do is type in Google Maps, just like this. And once you've done that, just head over to Google Maps like this. And we, of course, are going to drive. You can also choose something else, but I'm choosing to drive. Once you've done that, what you need to do is choose your starting point and make sure to be specific in this. So don't click on your location, but actually choose which starting point you want to use. So for example, the Eiffel Tower, uh, and then all the way to the Burj Khalifa. Once you've done that, it's going to create a route for you. Now what you simply need to do, and it's going to be really easy, is go at the bottom of your uh, Safari, basically, and then you have the share icon where you can click on, and then scroll down till you find Add to Home Screen. Once you've done that, give it a quick name, something like Test maybe, and then click on Add. And we now have this shortcut over our home screen, basically. What we now simply need to do is just close this off. And what we now need to do is, of course, reinstall Google Maps, because that's really important to uh, delete Google Maps beforehand, because otherwise you will not even be able to use Google Maps over on the web and to automatically bring it within the app. So yeah, just re-download Google Maps, which will take more than just a few seconds. And basically, once you've done that, you will simply be able to click on this shortcut it will quickly go through the browser in order to basically give all its data. And once you've done that, it will automatically open Google Maps. And then within a few seconds, your route will be good to go. So yeah, let me quickly clear this just like this. And then within a few seconds, my Google Maps shall be downloaded. Um, and I will be back to you guys once it happens. All right, so we can now see that my Google Maps has been downloaded. What we now can simply do is test out our basically our shortcut. So what we can do is open it just like this going to quickly load all you need to do is click on open app and that's the only button you basically need to click once you've done that let me just quickly allow all of this because i just created a new account and then basically your entire route will automatically be ready and it will automatically start and yeah that's all we need to do if you learned enough in this video then please consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel it really helps me out and that being said i hope i will see you in my next youtube tutorial video